hello guys welcome to my channel today i'm sharing with you guys another gypsy locks tutorial i posted a short one couple of days ago and i thought i'll share this method of the long one with you guys as well i'm loving this blonde 613 color and the end result is amazing so stay tuned guys so i'll be using the shine and jam um, gel to define my part so as i uh, part the hair and before parting the hair apply i um, some of the shining gem i take a comb and comb it through um, before parting it that is what gives you the neat uh, and flawless um, braids look so I posted a link to where you can get all the products used in this tutorial. Um, you can check the description box if you are interested. So I'm just starting um, um, to pop the hair and I will be braiding um, with the curly hair um, before wrapping it. Some people do um, box braid with a natural hair but I just prefer um, using the um, curly hair to Part, it just saves more time rather than um, braiding the natural hair and then you start crocheting the curly hair into the hair before wrapping it so that takes more time um, so the curly hair um, is what gives it the um, curly hands at the hair so you just want to make sure that one of the hair length is longer than the other one so one is long and one is short so the longer one is the one that is, uh, that is going to show at the hands of the locks if that makes sense so i don't braid the hair all the way down because the wrapping is um secures um the curly hair and that just saves a lot of time some people braid it all the way down and then it's that is just a lot of time to me it's all the same thing um, so the curly hair uh, as long as you make sure that you braid it at least quarter of an inch of the uh, curly hair and then you wrap it um, trust me it's not going anywhere So for this tutorial, I used um, two packs of the Deep Twist um, Features Hair and five packs of the Mali Hair to wrap um, the curly hair. So, so the amount of the curly hair you use determines how full um, you want your locks to be. So the amount of the braid that you do with the curly hair determines how full. So for this look, she wants the um, triangle um, um, goddess lock I'm sorry gypsy lock so when I'm done with the um, braid and then I'm just gonna start um, wrapping it and I will be showing uh, you guys a quick method that I used to uh, wrap my locks it saves me more time and I thought I would sh also show you guys that so stay tuned So I'm using the color 613 for the curly hair and color 613 um, for the Mali hair. So I'm just going to take two pieces. I'm going to make sure um, one is longer than the other one and I'm just going to um, grab my, use my right hand because I'm left handed. I'm going to use my right hand to grab the curly hair and then use my left hand um, to wrap the hair so as you can see i'm wrapping to my right hand side so if, if you are not uh, left-handed like me so you're just gonna wrap to the other side of your body so that is what gives you the um, quicker and speed um, when wrapping so i normally use um the lighter um, for the hands to seal the hands um, but for this color because it's very um, it's very um, easy to tell if there's any stain or anything it's, it's not like the regular um, black color so I'm using uh, a nail glue so you can use any glue of your choice as long as it's um, um, okay for the hairs 
to use for the hair so I'm using a nail glue to seal the hair so you just drop a little bit and you just use your palm to roll it and that's it
done wrapping I'm just trimming um, the hair um, sticking out from the locks and when I'm done I'm just gonna apply um, some mousse to cool down any freeziness and my client's mom just walked in and our grandma and she's actually um, pregnant she's about I think 36 weeks pregnant and I'm actually slaying her um, for the arrival of the baby so that is very exciting So I applied the mousse and then I remembered um, I was supposed to crochet some color hair um, to give it that gypsy um, look. She didn't want a lot, she just wanted like a little, um, some little pieces um, here and there. applying the uh, mousse again to blend in the curly hair and I'm just going to um, trim the hands and that's pretty much it so I'm just um, laying down our hedges and she also wanted some um, jewelries she wanted some gold color um, clippings and some strings and uh, I also put it in the description box for you guys the links to where you can get um, here jewelries and strings and all of that so check that out so she won the top um, the one in the top in a bun and then the rest of it um, laying down so when I'm done with the jewelries, I'm just going to put the ones in the front in a bun bun. and here is the finished look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i'm loving this blonde color let me know what you guys think down below what's your favorite hair color uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also click the subscribe button my facebook and instagram page is at saw that one one two and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye